What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm on my eighth day of COVID-19. Still feeling a little bit sick. I haven't really had too many symptoms. And I'm just out here exploring in the Prescott National Forest. Not really planning on doing much metal detecting though. I, whoa, though I do have my metal detector. Um, just came across this box. Got some quartz in here. It looks a little mineralized. Let's take a look at that. That looks pretty good. Interesting. And what I'm doing right now, you know, that looks really interesting to me. What I'm doing right now is uh, trying to locate an old load claim that was out here in the 70s. And as you know, gold went up in the 80s, right in the beginning of the 80s, I think 1980 exactly. And uh, with gold going up like that in the 80s, a lot of people jumped on claims. But anything you might find prior to the 80s might be something valuable because they were claiming it up when it wasn't worth as much. So what I'm doing is I'm back here trying to determine why would somebody put a load claim back here? It hasn't been here since the 80s. We got quartz down here. So that's looking good. We got a little bit of bedrock down there. But there's a foundation or something that I found over here. Let's come over here. What is this I just came across right here? A little cement structure. Could this have anything to do with what we're looking for? Somebody had a load claim down here in the late 70s. And I would really like to determine why. Let's hope it fall here. Look at this. What is this? Is this just a well? I would imagine that this is a well. Hmm. Pretty interesting. Going up that way. We've got quite a bit of snow over there. Anyway, so we're just exploring out here. We want to find out why did somebody claim this up back in the day? And you know, with that quartz in this wash, tempted to do some detecting. Though, I've already witnessed a lot of trash. But anyway, we're just out here looking around. Not really doing anything too major. Still feeling a little sick. Haven't really had any symptoms of, other than being tired and just a uh, lack of energy. Got some bedrock down here. Hmm. I'm sure there's lots of iron sticking out of it. Saw a lot of broken tin cans and stuff up around the hill coming down. But I wonder if there's gold here. Hmm. We're just wandering, exploring. Why was there a load claim here? Said that there were some cement monuments for the claim. There's some more quartz down in here. Doesn't look that great. There's quartz here. Hmm. More quartz down here. This one looks a little bit better. A little more mineralization, but still not what I'm looking for. Now, I don't know what this load claim was. Could have been copper, could have been silver, could have been gold. There are some gold mines in the area. More bedrock. Well, that's good. Maybe I can uh, try to find an indicator nugget. Determine if there's any gold in this creek. Got another one coming down here. Bunch of bedrock up here. Still not seeing what I'm looking for out here though. Well, anyway, I'm gonna cut the tape. I'm gonna keep looking a little bit. We're gonna try to find this load claim and see if we can determine if there's a vein out here of interest. And if there is, we're gonna metal detect it. Try to see if we can find anything. All right, here we go. Well, it looks like we located the mine. It's uh, looking like it's a little bit more than a, um, an old claim. This is a big old pile of dirt I'm sitting on right now. Rocks, it's got this mineralized quartz in it. Let's take a look at this. This looks actually really, really good. You see the yellowish in it? 
I believe that's sulfur. Um, hmm, it's got some some iron in it. This one over here. So we found a place where they were digging, and it doesn't look too bad. This actually looks really good. Very mineralized. I got a pile of quartz up here, so. I'm thinking this might be good material here, not just waste waste rock. Um, so I'm gonna want to metal detect this area, and this quartz. There's another piece right here that's got a bit of yellow to it. Let's take a look at this. If you look in there, it's got some pyrites in there, which I think is arsenio pyrite. Huh. Well, if you look down there, it looks like they were trenching. The trench got some snow in it. It's pretty overgrown over here, but look at all this quartz in here. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's all quartz. There's one big pile of quartz. And what do we got here? A little hole right there. I wonder if that's a detectorist or an animal. Interesting, we found something new. Let's walk around. I think I'm gonna leave my metal detector right here. We're just gonna stomp around. Oh yeah, look at all this quartz here. This is looking good, look at that. I know it's in the shade a little bit, but man, this stuff looks good. We're gonna have to get some samples. Wish I can crush it up. I moved to an apartment and can't really use my crusher like I used to. But we can do something. Hopefully we'll find some specimens. This is quite a bit of quartz and stuff going on here. Though I don't see any copper staining. This one looks a little interesting. Let's see if we can't get them in the sun a little. I don't know. It's got some iron running through it. Hmm. Not seeing any copper staining. Looks like they trenched back in the air. I'm betting there's gold in this. Don't know how much gold it is. I'm trying to determine the scale of work that they did here. Looks like there's something going on over there. You know, it actually looks like some crushed up rock over there. Let's go take a look at that. Very mineralized. But I don't see any copper staining or sulfates which in my experience out here in Arizona has been a pretty good indicator of the quartz you'd probably want to crush. This one looks really good. Let's get this one in the sunlight and take a look at it. It's all this right here. Either this is overburden that got shoveled off or it's crushed material. I'm thinking they probably just shoveled this out. I'm trying to get back into the vein. Yeah, that looks, looks really good. If anybody knows what all this mineralization is, if it's all iron or I'm still working on trying to determine what silver looks like. Uh, I don't know what it looks like, quite frankly, um, in the ore. But yeah, we're out here not far from Prescott. Um, let's take a walk this way. We've got a mountain here. This mine is completely hidden from view on Google Earth. I could not see it whatsoever. There's another little small pile of dirt. Somebody dug there. Hmm. Looks like this is just a hill here. Let me go back around. Oh, I see something over there. I might see either that's a branch sticking up or some kind of old claim marker. Anyway, I'm gonna cut the video. I'm gonna do a little more exploring. Try to get around all this snow. See if I can find anything. And then, that was just a branch over there. Then I think we're gonna um, metal detect some of this quartz. All right, let's get to it. All right, well, that's where I was at, was up there with the pile of quartz. Looks like somebody dug that out. 
That could be an animal though. I haven't gotten over there and looked at it yet. Let's take a look. Yeah, I'm guessing that's some kind of animal burrowing in there. But uh, I feel like this is where the vein is. Trenching all through here, pulling out all this vein material. There's the host rock. So it's pretty interesting. Something was here, for sure. Hmm. There goes some big chunks of quartz up there. I think I'm gonna start doing a little metal detecting. I did already a little bit, just found a little piece of iron. Hate to step right here and go down into nowhere. But I don't think there's any sinkholes. It looks pretty old out here, but interesting nonetheless. So we found what they were doing. Look at this rock, that is black. Hmm. Not sure what they're doing out here, but it's probably gold. Let's see if we can find some gold locked up in some of this quartz that they left behind. All right, day eight of COVID-19. It got cold out here. I had to walk back to the car and get my sweatshirt. And now I'm feeling COVID-19, but who cares? This is how the battles are won. Got to soldier up, but I do need to relax. This mine was so hard to find after I went back to my car and tried to come back here and find it, I almost couldn't find it. And I came across this uh, waste pile here, and that's bright. So I'm relaxing, drinking some water, I'm trying to get myself together because uh, I'm feeling pretty weak, sweaty. But uh, this is what it takes to find the gold. I mean, you could stay home and be sick, but why? I'm not gonna do that. But I'm definitely getting tired and weak. So let me regain my strength. I'm gonna get back up behind me to where these uh, tailing piles are. And I'm gonna start doing some more metal detecting. At the very least, I'm gonna grab some good looking samples and take them home and try to do some crushing of some sorts so we can see if there's any gold in here. It's interesting, like I said, I mean, there's trash, old trash, old bottles, things like that everywhere around here. Um, there's a, sorry for the wind, I'll try to block that out if I can. Um, there is a, what was I gonna say? Trash bottles and clearly there was something here at some point. There's some mines in the area that I know about, one of which I read possibly in maybe one of the hotter zones of the vein was getting about four ounces per ton. But uh, this is interesting, you know, this is hidden enough that you would have to literally walk up on it or go do some real research to even know, to even come over here. And you cannot see it from satellite. So I wonder if anybody's ever been here, metal detected. Like I said, it used to be a claim in the 70s. It hasn't been claimed up ever since. So let's get back out here and explore. I think I got my energy back, drink a little more water, and um, let's go find some chunks of quartz that might have some gold in it. Let's go. All right, so I'm metal detecting out here on these quartz piles. I got a small signal on this piece. Just on that edge. Sometimes it says iron on the meter, other times it doesn't even register. But something like that is what I would expect a small little piece of gold to sound like. That's a pretty big chunk of quartz. I'm gonna have to break it. Maybe uh, see if we can see it by eye or uh, break it off and find the piece that's making the signal and take that home. Let's see what we can determine. It's very mineralized. Hmm. Be nice to see a nice little chunk of gold just sticking out of that or silver even. Cut the video, I'm gonna investigate it a little further. Well, the signal on this rock got a little boingy, so I'm thinking it's probably some iron in there or something like that, but it's a little too big for me to be breaking. It's solid, and I'm not carrying it back to the car. Let's keep looking for something we can manage. I doubt it's gold. I 
I'm just finding a bunch of little pieces of iron. Still haven't seen any. Interesting. I wonder what that one is. But still haven't seen any uh, copper um, staining or anything. Let's see what this one is. Probably a bullet. Let's take a look. Well, that one's pretty deep. Pretty sure that's an old blasting cap. So it looks like they must have been blasting out here, not just doing it by hand. Hmm. Let's find some gold, man. I'm having a hard time determining exactly what they're doing out here. If they had a pile of uh, good material or from their waste rock. I would think it would be something over here where they might have put some good quartz that they planned on running. So far, just little pieces of iron. Let's see what this one is. Well, it was just a super tiny piece of iron. I know nothing about this mine. I would like to know if it was free mill or not. I know the ones in the area were somewhat free mill. Huh. Where's Jeff Williams when you need him? What should I be doing, Jeff? What should I sample? What should I leave alone? Hmm. Let's keep looking. Well, I'm just taking a break here. Thought I'd show you guys some of the, well, I don't know if this is gonna work out. There we go. Show you guys some of this quartz here. Pretty interesting looking. Definitely mineralized. I'm just trying to get out of the house today. I've had enough sitting around with COVID-19, so there's some pretty serious iron staining going on out here. We're not staining, this is just straight chunky iron in there. I wish I had my crusher all set up. I'd go home and crush up a bunch of this and determine what we got going on. Well, we haven't found any gold or anything like that. But I mean, look at this quartz, I mean. Looks pretty good. I know this isn't my typical video, but uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. I've done pretty good in uh, mine dumps before, but uh, in California, never in Arizona. All I find in Arizona mine dumps is sulfides. But, uh, cause yeah, the gold monster will pick up those sulfides pretty good. But in California, I found a lot of gold in dumps like this. So I'm hopeful. I'm gonna keep at it for a little bit. It's nice out here. Nicer than sitting inside of the apartment. So let's get back to doing some detecting. Well, I just found a nice chunk of quartz right here. Something's going on in that piece of quartz. <clears throat> Not likely to be gold, but this one's coming home. Or, oh, you know what? There it is. I don't know if you get, oh, let me get this focused a little better. Right above my thumb right there, some sulfides. Looks a bit like gold, but it's probably just sulfides. Let me get my, eyepiece out and take a look at this. I'll let you know what I think it is. Can you see that there? There's sulfides in there. We're looking through the, the eyepiece here. Right up there, if I can. I'm guessing this is, uh, I'm not sure, I might say it wrong, calico pyrite. Hmm. That's a good piece to take home and sample. This one's coming home. I got another chunk of quartz here. This is a big one. <clears throat> it's got a signal. Right? In the middle there. Uh, 
Probably some more um, sulfites, but I can't see. I'm gonna break this open and see if we can determine what's in there. Well, I'm out here without any tools for breaking rocks and all this red stuff you see here is that big boulder that just got shattered. So now I gotta determine where that signal was. All I got is ancient stone man tools. I'm just throwing boulders at boulders. Let's see if we can locate what that signal was. Let's take a look at what we got here. Still don't know what's in there, but very red. Both of those rocks have a signal, but they're not, probably not gold. It, it kind of seems that I can ground balance it out. It's probably more uh, sulfides. It doesn't ground balance all the way, but it's probably not gold. I don't know. Let's take a better look. Well, this is where I count on some of you guys out there to give me some info. I looked at it really hard and I can't determine what is going on here. That darker grayish black stuff, I'm assuming has something to do with iron and might be the target. It's pretty interesting, I mean, I'm not seeing any sulfides or any gold or anything like that. And uh, seeing that the signal's in both of these rocks here, I'm assuming it's probably that um, darker stuff setting it off. Interesting though. That stuff there, if you can see that. If anybody knows what this is, has any information, let me know. What am I looking at here? Should this get sent home and crushed? Of course it should. Not on a COVID-19 day though. I'm tired. I'm not doing too bad out here though. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying the video. We're just exploring, doing some different stuff today. Still some snow on the ground out here. A little bit of clouds in the sky. It's a nice day, about 60 degrees. Don't think we're gonna find any gold today, but that's fine. I think I may have found their good pile though. Right over there, it looks like that might be what they were uh, stacking up for later. So yeah, if you got any information on any of this, let me know. And if uh, anybody's looking for a load claim like this, what, I'm not gonna tell you exactly, but not far from Prescott, I'd love to claim it up and sell it to you. So, get a hold of me. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we found out what was going on. Broke it in half and there's all this stuff in there. I'm not sure exactly what you'd call that. I'm guessing Arsenio Pyrite. But if you got any better ideas, let me know. That was what's setting off the metal detector, right in the middle, big old, big old walnut sized piece in there. I don't know if I should take this or not. What do you guys make of this? What do you guys think this mine was? Was it silver, gold, copper? Leave some comments in the description. I know there's a lot of people out here in Arizona with a lot more experience than me. And I'd love to know what you guys think. All right. This is what we're looking through through the eyepiece. It's pretty shiny. Um, some goldish looking stuff in there. But uh, I don't know, what do you guys make of this? Arsenio pyrite? Valuable? Not valuable? Let me know what you think. Well, after further looking at it and inspecting it, I found some copper staining right in this area. I don't think you'll be able to see it with the camera. I had to see it with the eyepiece, but definitely some mineralization going on in this. Hmm, interesting. Well, after going back to that tailing car, I found another chunk of quartz that's screaming. <laughs> Interesting, huh? And after messing with all that red stuff, I went out, found me a patch of snow and washed my hands really good. That red stuff could be arsenic, I'd assume. Anyway. I'm gonna try to break this up. It looks pretty solid, but I'm gonna try to break it, see what we got in there. All right, well, I got this one broke open and it looks like we got the same thing going on in there. Right down in there, you can see it. This one is screaming though. And as I broke it open, I started getting some uh, copper staining as well. I mean, that's like, we're almost a foot away. 
probably about a foot away. Wish that was gold. I was able to break some smaller pieces off of this one. So I'm gonna take those home and see if we can try to figure this out. All right, well, I think I've had my fun for the day. I've got some interesting stuff out here. Hopefully some of you guys might be able to help me out. Let me know what you think about this ore. This looks like this is the pile here. I haven't even metal detected the whole thing. And uh, there's probably some good stuff in there. This is probably worth uh, gathering up and crushing. You can probably hear the road in the background. It's not too far away. Wouldn't be that hard to uh, haul it out. But uh, interesting find. There's not gonna be a way up at the end because we didn't get any gold. And uh, you know, another thing I wanted to tell you guys about this COVID-19 situation is uh, I've had it for eight days now. I talked to my doctor here in Prescott, Prescott and uh, let me gather my things and get out of here. And well, uh, he um, said he's had over 100 patients with COVID and only lost one person. And this person was, I believe, in his late 70s, he told me. And uh, I got to figure my way out of here. And, um, and that uh, he was already on oxygen for his bad lung. And this guy passed away, unfortunately. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, that's a 100% survival rate. Unless you got a bad lung or something like that going on with you. So I just wanted to let you guys know, I've had pretty much no symptoms other than being tired. Maybe turning the heater on or turning it off because being a little uncomfortable. But yeah, from the horse's mouth. COVID-19 hasn't been that bad for me. But anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. And uh, please, get in the comments. Tell me what you think about this mine. Something going on here. We got copper staining, looks like arsenio pyrite. Maybe some calico pyrite. Not sure what we got going on. But uh, it's interesting and uh, I'd like to know more about it. There's that little foundation over there. If anybody recognizes that, you might be able to figure out where I'm at. Anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. Uh, when we hit a thousand subscribers, we're doing another giveaway. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Help me get up there to a thousand. And uh, we'll give away something. Maybe some of this ore. All right. I appreciate everybody watching. You guys take care. See ya. Okay, well, the video's not over. I decided to break out this jaw crusher and uh, take these samples that we got from that ore dump and see if we can find any gold whatsoever. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time getting it down to powder, but I'm just gonna crush it up fairly good and pan out some and we'll be able to see together what we got. Here's the ore again. I'm just curious, I gotta break it up and see what we got, so. I'm gonna start breaking that down with this uh, sledgehammer and fitting it in here. And then we'll pan it out and see what we got. All right, we got most of it broke down into a manageable size. Starting to see a lot of copper staining on the inside of this stuff. So hopefully there's some gold in there. Let's take a look. Well, that didn't work. powerful motor for this. Let me put this camera down and try to get this done. So we got it down to this here. I think I might try to run it through one more time. I don't know. Actually, that'll probably be about it. Maybe we'll see what kind of powder we can get out of that and uh, pan that out. And then we'll have a bunch of little pieces to kind of take a look at with the eyepiece. 
If there's any gold in there, I'm sure at least a little piece would have broke out. But uh, I see a lot of pyrite and arsenio pyrite. I'm assuming on that one. A lot of it. So yeah, let's pan some of this out, see what we got. Okay, so this is what we got it down to. Not very fine and not very much of it. Not a very good sample. We're just gonna take a look. This is what we're left with. Need to get that all chopped down, but not today. We'll pan this out, we'll take a look. Okay, well, I'm still kind of panning it down, but we got a lot of sulfides in there, as we already knew. Wasn't the best sample. I don't really see any gold at all, but I'm gonna pan it down just a little bit more and see if there might be something hidden underneath all that. Just the speck would be nice. One more little bit of looking through it and we're gonna end this video. I'm not seeing any gold in here. It's a small sample. There could be some. I just can't get it crushed down to what I need to get it crushed down to. But if any of you guys know anything about this stuff and got any information on this ore, not this exact ore, but just any experience with something similar, let me know what you think about this stuff. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. I appreciate it. Take care.